Welcome everybody. This is Lori Fredrickson from Bivio and I'm here with uh, our new support members, uh, Becky Cruz and Joanne Hermiston, and they're going to be helping me tonight on this presentation. This is kind of the kickoff presentation for investment club tax season from us. So this presentation is designed to give you an overview of the tax prep process so that you'll have a good understanding of what's coming and what you might want to take care of before the end of this calendar year. Okay, with that, I think what I'm going to do is turn things over to Becky Cruz, who's going to work on the first part of this webinar. Hi, everyone. We're going to be discussing five types of information tonight. First, we're going to be going through a brief overview of Investment Club taxes, what is required, and a little bit about the preparation process. We'll show you the forms you need to file, the steps you'll be going through to prepare your taxes, and important dates you need to know. Then we're going to discuss what you can do right now to get started and get most of the work out of the way so that your tax preparation will go very quickly once you receive tax documents from your broker and the tax program from us. We're going to reiterate some of the things you can do in your club to keep your club accounting simple and avoid any tax time issues. We're going to talk about one change that will be new for your taxes for 2021. And finally, we're going to touch on a list of things you may need to address prior to the end of the current calendar year. This presentation is only designed to give you an overview. Early next year, we'll be having more in-depth webinars, which will get into the details of actually getting your tax forms filled out. We'll be touching on a lot of topics tonight, but don't worry that you have to get it all down today. Let's start with an overview of the process. What are your tax filing requirements? One of the first questions investment clubs have, especially new clubs, is whether they have to file. The answer to this question is yes. If you have an EIN number, you need to file club taxes. It doesn't matter how long your club has been in existence or how much income you've had. Your EIN number is your IRS business identification number. It's similar to a personal social security number. You'll have needed it when you opened your club brokerage account. You get the EIN number from the IRS. Their computers will be looking for a return to be filed that matches that number. If they don't find one, their computer will generate an automatic note to you telling you that you owe them a hefty late penalty. Just so you know, the late filing penalty for a partnership return is $210 for each month or part of a month, up to 12 months, that the return is late or incomplete, multiplied by the total number of persons who are partners in the partnership during any part of the partnership's tax year. In addition, if you distribute K-1 forms to your members late or fail to include all required correct information on them by the due date, there's an additional penalty of $280 per each K-1 that is a problem. This isn't a joke. We've had clubs contact us because they received notices that they owed amounts in the tens of thousands of dollars for not filing a return. The fact that they had only a minimal amount of income was not important. It's easy to prepare your taxes using Bivio. Make sure you do it. So what forms do you need to file? Your investment club is a type of a business called a partnership. Each year, your club needs to file what's called an informational tax return. For a partnership, this is IRS Form 1065. It reports the total income and expenses your club has had for the year. It also reports each member's share of the income and expenses. The 1065 is called an informational return because your club does not pay taxes directly. Each member pays taxes on their portion of the club income on their own personal tax forms. As part of your Bivio subscription, you receive a program you can use to prepare your club tax forms from information you've entered and confirmed correct in Bivio. As you can see, this example is just a draft tax form. The IRS has not released final versions of the form yet. Each member knows what to report because your 1065 includes a form called a K-1 for each partner. You send in copies of all the K-1s when you file your club taxes, and you also give each member his or her personal copy. 
Each member will transfer the information from the K-1 to their personal tax forms to pay taxes on. Your club members will not be able to complete their personal taxes until you provide them with their information from the club. If you'd like to get an idea of what will be reported on each member's K-1, there's a report in Bivio called the Member Tax Allocation Report. It looks like this. A member of a stock investment club will have these types of income to report. First, you may have dividend and interest income. Your club amounts will be added to any other dividend and interest income you report on your personal schedule B. You may have both short and long-term capital gains and losses, which will be combined with other capital gains and losses on your personal schedule D. And you may have expenses, which will be shown for your information only. Since the start of 2018, these are no longer deductible at any level on your personal taxes. You may want to show a preliminary copy of this report to your club members at the end of the year. If they have to pay estimated taxes and your club has significant income, they may want to include the club income in their income estimate. Just make sure that they understand that all information on the report is preliminary and subject to change as you do your final records verifications. Now you know what you need to file, let's briefly discuss the process you'll be using to prepare your tax forms. There are really only a few steps to doing your taxes. First, since your Bivio records will be used as the source of information to fill in your tax forms, you need to make sure that what is in Bivio is correct. This is the most important step and potentially the one that will take the most time, depending on the state of your Bivio records, but it's also one you can begin right now. Once you verify your records, things will go much more quickly. You'll answer a few simple questions and Bivio will finish filling in your club tax forms. You can then review and file them with the IRS and distribute information to your members. We'll be going through a more extended description of how you complete each step in ta during tax prep webinars that we'll be holding during the tax season. The intent of today's presentation is just to give you an idea of how things are going to work. You do need to be aware of the different timing deadlines you're going to be working with as you move through tax season. The due date for filing your club 2021 tax forms is Tuesday, March 15th, 2022. If you can't get them in by that date, you'll need to file for an extension or be subject to late filing penalties. Your members need the information you'll give them on K-1s to file their own personal taxes. This way, they'll have their club information at least a month before those are due. To get ready to do your club taxes, you'll need to do a records audit in January to confirm your Bivio records are in good shape. Your taxes are prepared from the information you've entered in Bivio. You need to confirm it's all correct or your taxes will not be correct. This may be some of the most time consuming step of getting your taxes done. By scheduling to address it in January, you'll have lots of time to handle any issues you need to get corrected. Your taxes will also need to agree with the 1099 forms, which are sent by your broker to the IRS to report your income. Brokers are only supposed to have until February 15, 2022 to get these to you. But make sure to check with them. Some brokers receive extensions to send them later than this. You can't finalize your taxes until you have them. Bivio makes the tax program available in mid-February for you to use to prepare your taxes. There is nothing extra to purchase. The ability to prepare club federal taxes is part of your Bivio subscription. Your members cannot complete their own personal taxes until you've given them their K-1s. Because you can't finalize anything until you have the 1099s, a reasonable date to tell them that they'll have their forms is March 1st. This will also mean you'll have the club returns ready to file before the March 15th deadline. We suggest that before the end of the year that you let your club members know the date they can expect their K-1s. This lets them schedule any appointments they need with their personal tax preparers. If a member needs club tax information before you can get the K-1s done, they should be able to make an estimate of what will be coming using the member tax allocations report. However, don't give them that unless you've done an audit and have a reasonable expectation that your club records are accurate. 
make sure they understand the information on it is subject to change. Now you have an idea of what you're getting into. Let's talk about what you can start on right away so you can breeze through the tax prep process when the tax program becomes available. As I said earlier, the first step in the process is the most involved, but it's the one you can start anytime, and you should be keeping on top of each month when you have your club meetings. It's keeping your Vivio records correct. Verifying your records is critical. It's not something Vivio does automatically for you. If your records are not correct, your taxes will not be correct. There are three things your club should make part of your regular operations to make sure the information which will be reported on your taxes is accurate. Each one checks different information. First, your club treasurer should be reconciling your Vivio records with your financial institution statements monthly. If there are any disagreements, this means there's only a single month's worth of transactions to go through to find the mistake and make the correction in Vivio. Some clubs assume Account Sync is their club treasurer, and while it is a good assistant, it's not perfect. It's still up to you to ensure all information has been added correctly. Sometimes brokers make mistakes in the data file it reads, and other times there's information missing from the Account Sync data that you need to make manual adjustments for. Usually a quick check each month will bring any issues to light, and they can be quickly addressed to keep your records correct. Your club treasurer should be able to demonstrate that Bivio agrees with your brokerage statement each month. Second, club members other than your treasurer should perform a records audit each year. This will reconfirm that all the information that will be used for preparing your tax returns is correct and that your club accounting is correct. The audit confirms additional information that the regular reconciliations may not pick up. And third, when you receive the 1099 forms, the, which report your income to the government, you'll need to do a final check to make sure they agree with the information recorded in Vivio. There are sometimes a few last minute things, such as distributions from mutual funds, ETFs, and REITs, which may need to be adjusted based on the 1099 information. These are not known until you get the 1099 form, and they may require additional accounting adjustments because what shows on your tax forms needs to agree with what is reported to the IRS on your 1099 forms. There are comparison pages provided in Vivio as you do your taxes that allow you to check this and make the necessary adjustments. They are not made for you automatically by Account Sync. I can't stress this enough. It's crucial that your Bivio records are accurate before you prepare your tax forms. If they're not, your taxes will not be correct. If you're not a club treasurer, please don't close your ears and say, I'm glad I don't have to worry about that. Making sure your club taxes are correct is everyone's responsibility. If there's a problem with your taxes, all current and even future members may be on the hook to get it resolved. Though all members may not actually keep the club's records or prepare the club's taxes, they should all be asking the right questions so they know taxes have been done correctly. Here's a very important note. IRS issues should not be something your club has to worry about. If you follow our guidelines for keeping your accounting simple and stay on top of keeping your records reconciled every month, you'll be able to sail through tax season quickly and easily. Now that you're ready to pitch in, let's talk about the second type of verification I mentioned. That's doing an audit. A good time to do one is January while you're waiting for your 1099s. It's often a less busy month and your end of year brokerage statements will be available. If you need to motivate your club members, there's nothing wrong with making it a party. At Vivio, we're declaring the weekend of January 8 and 9, 2022 Audit Party Weekend. We'll be giving a detailed webinar on January 8th on the steps you need to go through to do your club audit, and we'll be available all weekend to answer any questions you have as you work through the process. Put this date on your calendar and you can make sure you actually undertake this important club task. So what is an audit? An audit is an independent comparison of your club records to your financial institution records. It's conducted by club members other than the treasurer. Any discrepancies are noted, and then at the end of the audit, discussed with the treasurer to make any necessary corrections. It's not difficult to do an audit, but it's important for these reasons. 
first to make sure your taxes are being prepared correctly. As we just mentioned, this is something all club members should be concerned about. Second, you should feel comfortable that your treasurer is doing what you think they're doing with your club finances. Third, it allows everyone in the club to share the burden of ensuring your club is doing correct record keeping. It should not be something only your treasurer has responsibility for. Fourth, to demystify the whole process. Working through the steps of the audit will help everyone in the club become more familiar with club finances. They're not difficult, but they're a little bit different than some might expect. If everyone has a basic understanding of what's important, the club treasurer doesn't have to waste time and energy explaining why they're required to do certain things a certain way and why certain investments will cause accounting problems for your club. Vivio provides you with a checklist you should use to work through the steps of your audit. You'll find a link to it on our help page. It's very straightforward and important to work through. There are things you need to check that will impact your tax returns that are in addition to the regular cash balance and the number of shares checks that you should do each month. If you don't follow our guidelines, you might miss some important checks. What is the audit process? First, pick a date in January to do your audit. It'll probably take you about two to three hours. Pick two to four people other than the club treasurer to conduct the audit. Prior to the audit day, the treasurer should gather records that will be needed for comparison from your financial institutions and from Vivio. On the audit day, the auditors will work through the audit steps, making the records comparisons. If they find any discrepancies, they'll note them on the audit checklist. Auditors do not make the corrections themselves. When all the steps are completed, the auditors and the treasurers will meet to discuss anything that was found, the treasurer will determine what action is needed, make corrections, and record the action taken, and then the treasurer and the auditors will give the final report to the club. It all goes quickly. Once you're finished, you'll have done most of the work needed to get your records ready to prepare your club taxes quickly. All you'll need to do is wait for your 1099s to arrive so your treasurer can do a final quick records check. Along with an annual audit, it's important to keep your records correct during the year. Routine checks help you avoid having to address any time-consuming issues during tax time. You can check whether Vivio is reporting your capital gains and losses, like your broker will, as soon as you have a sale. The sooner you check, the more time you have to address any discrepancies before they show up on your 1099 form. Let's talk now about how you can do this. It's one of the most important tasks your treasurer should be doing. In 2011, the tax laws changed. Brokers are now required to report your cost basis and capital gains to the IRS on the form called the 1099. You will also get a copy of this form. Your club tax return, prepared in Bivio, needs to agree with the information it shows, so you need to check that it does. Fortunately, you don't have to wait until you get your 1099 to do these checks. You get a report any time during the year from your broker called a Realized Gain Loss Report. You can compare it to the Capital Gains and Losses Report in Bivio. The information on both reports should agree. Here's an example of the Bivio Capital Gains and Losses Report and a Realized Gain Loss Report from a broker. Yours may not look exactly like this, but it will have the same information on it. You need to compare each sale shown on the Bivio report with the same sale shown on the brokerage report. You should make sure the number of shares sold, the acquisition date, the sale date, the sales price, the cost basis, and the gain and loss agree between the two reports. If they do not, or if you see a wash sale noted, you need to determine the reasons for the difference. There may be corrections you need to make to your Bivio records. The sooner in the year you find them, the more time you have to get the help you need to get them straightened out. This is especially important if you have subsequent transactions for the same stock. One issue can quickly compound into more if you don't get it fixed in a timely manner. Double checking capital gains and losses right when you sell stocks can also help you get your taxes done more quickly. If you need help from us resolving an issue, it'll take much longer to get it in the height of tax season than it will at any other times of the year. 
Now, I'll transfer you to my colleague, Joanne Hermiston. Thank you, Becky. Along with cost basis, which you should be able to address prior to receiving your 1099s, there may be other records changes you'll need to make that you won't know about until you do get them. They will not be made automatically for you in Bivio. You will need to make them manually before you can generate correct taxes. Here are some of the most common ones. There might be slight changes to make sure qualified dividends are being correctly reported, especially if you own mutual funds. Some mutual fund dividends are qualified, others are not. If you have had distributions from mutual funds and REITs, and even from some stocks, some of the distribution amounts may need to be reclassified. If their distributions are not really dividends, but are a return of capital or a long-term capital gain, you'll have to go back and manually split up each dividend distribution you have received during the year. You won't know what changes to make until the information is reported to you on the 1099. Here's a step during the tax prep process where you will compare the Bivio amounts to your 1099 and where you can make changes if they are needed. These changes are very important so your taxes are reported correctly. Some of them will also adjust the cost basis of your stocks. If they are not made, then the capital gains and losses when you eventually sell them won't be calculated correctly. You may need to change the dates on interest or dividend income originally recorded as received early in the new year to a date late in the tax year. It will depend on the year your broker has reported the income received. If you have been keeping your club cash in a money market fund at your broker, they may have classified your earnings as dividends rather than interest. This is okay. You just need to make sure that your Bivio records record the income in the same manner. If you've recorded the earnings as interest, you will have to edit the transactions and call them dividends. There are steps when you prepare your taxes that guide you through comparing what is in Bivio to what is on your 1099. You'll also be able to make any final manual adjustments to dividends at that time. Note that corrections to cost basis and capital gains are done by correcting your Bivio entries, not by making adjusting entries when you prepare your taxes. That is why it is good to go through the steps outlined earlier to find and get those corrected ahead of getting your 1099. This all sounds like a lot, but there are many things you can do to keep your club record keeping as simple as possible. The more closely you follow these recommendations, the less you'll need to deal with any of the adjustments or corrections that were just discussed. There's no reason to be a club treasurer with a big or complicated job unless you make it that way. To keep things simple and keep out of having issues with cost basis reporting, here are some suggestions. First, make sure you know what default cost basis method your broker will be applying. This is important if you own more than one lot of a particular stock or mutual fund. If you have a sale and you don't sell all of it at one time, then you and your broker will need to identify which lots were sold. You can tell them to select certain lots at the time of the sale, but if you don't, they will apply a default method. The IRS assumes and Bivio uses FIFO, or first in, first out, as the default method. To keep things simple, make sure your broker is also using this both for stocks and for mutual funds and ETFs. I'd recommend you check on this as soon as possible. It cannot be changed once a sale has happened, and if they use something other than FIFO, you will have to make manual adjustments in your Bivio records to bring them into agreement. Make sure you avoid wash sales. Do not make investment purchases within 30 days before or after a sale where you had a loss. Wash sales affect cost basis. They will show up on the broker's realized gain and loss reports as soon as you have a sale. You want to catch them quickly and get them addressed during the year to avoid delays at tax time or cascading problems with subsequent sales. Contact us at support at Bivio.com as soon as you have one and we can help you address it. Please spend some time now comparing the information your broker has for cost basis with your Bivio records. 
That way, if there are issues that need to be investigated, you'll have time to get them straightened out. They sometimes are not simple or quick to work through, and if you need our help, we are probably going to be very busy during tax season helping clubs address questions. The earlier you can get the questions to us, the quicker we can help you get an answer. As we showed you earlier, you can do these comparisons each time during the year that you have a sale. There's no reason to wait until tax time. While we're talking about keeping things simple and making comparisons between Vivio and your broker, let's talk a little about the impact of automatic dividend reinvesting on keeping your club records. Automatic dividend reinvesting means you tell your broker to automatically purchase new shares of a stock when you receive a dividend. We highly recommend against this practice. Why is that? Because each dividend that you reinvest is a new lot of stock with its own cost basis. Each lot is a separate purchase date, number of shares, and cost basis. You could end up having to verify an awful lot of transactions. Here's a capital gains list from a real club that was doing dividend reinvestment, but this is only page one. It goes on and on and on and on, and the year wasn't even over yet. Comparing all of these transactions with the broker's information is an awful lot of work for a club treasurer for only $345.62 in gains for this club. But if your club is doing drip investing, you will need to do this. We can tell you from experience and working with many, many clubs working for Bivio that the work involved in keeping the records correct for these is not worth the time it takes. By far, the majority of clubs that have problems at tax time are those doing automatic dividend reinvesting. It's all about keeping things simple. We want you to be able to have a club and to spend your time and energy learning about investing, not partnership accounting. If you follow our guidelines, you can do this. Here's another important thing I want to remind you of, because despite our treasurer training, we still have clubs every year that have issues with this. That is the kinds of investments you can account for using Bivio. If you own any of these, unfortunately, you are going to have the issues described for your 2021 taxes, but at least 2021 isn't over yet. If you sell them before the end of the year, you won't have the problems again for next year. It is important to understand that different types of investments have different types of tax reporting requirements. Bivio is designed to let you have a simple way to have an investment club and easily comply with tax requirements. Because of this, the types of investments you can own in your club are limited. Bivio is only designed to do the accounting and tax preparation for clubs holding certain types of investments. Basically, these are publicly traded stocks and stock mutual funds and stock ETFs, exchange traded funds. And in addition, if you have an active partnership subscription, you can account for options trading. Our preferred level subscription also lets you account for up to 10 options transactions. If your club holds any of the investments we're going to discuss next, you will, at a minimum, have a lot of extra accounting and tax preparation work to do. In some cases, you will not even be able to use Bivio to prepare your taxes. Let's start with the big no-no. These are MLPs and PTPs. They are master limited partnerships and publicly traded partnerships, such as Energy Transfer Partners ET. Their distributions bring many special tax reporting issues, which are not addressed as part of the Bivio tax software. If you own any of these, you'll need to find an accountant to help you get your club taxes correct before they are filed. You'll also need to use our concierge service to adjust your Bivio accounting records based on information your accountant will need to provide so that your records will be correct going forward. How will you know if you own any of these? It may have the word partnership, LP, or partners in its name. It will pay distributions that are reported to you on a K-1 form rather than a 1099. We have a help page called Before You Invest that will take you to a comprehensive list of tickers of these investments. 
we try and highlight them in red on the accounting investments page in Bivio. And when you generate your tax forms, you will find a note on the cover page telling you that the forms prepared at Bivio are not correct and should not be filed as prepared. You'll need to work with an outside accountant to prepare your club taxes correctly. Investments in REITs, which are real estate investment trusts, are also problematic. There are many of these. You'll also find a link to a list of them on the Before You Invest page. Here are just a few examples. You can account for them in Bivio, but they require extra adjustments to your records during tax preparation. You won't know what adjustments are needed until you get your 1099 forms, or you may get late season adjustments you need to handle. If you do not feel comfortable making manual accounting changes in your records, you'll probably want to steer clear of investing in REITs. We've had experience with many, many treasurers working through the end of year REIT adjustments who tell us they're going to tell their clubs to sell the REIT as soon as possible and not buy any more in the future. Other problem investments include commodity ETFs. All ETFs are not the same. ETFs that hold commodities rather than stock, such as GLD and SLV, bring extra tax issues with them. Addressing them requires many manual calculations for each month you own them. You then need to make many changes to your Bivio records and to your tax forms. They are not easy, and they are not made automatically for you. You probably want to stay away from investing in them. You'll have the same issues with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency trust ETFs. Investments in foreign companies. You can often invest in the stock of foreign companies by purchasing what are called ADRs on the US exchanges. These are not usually an issue for your club accounting. Problems sometimes come up, however, if any of the companies you have invested in go through any sort of reorganization such as splits, spin-offs, and mergers. These can have tax implications you need to address. While we try and help you work through what you need to do, we find that there's a wide variation in the completeness of information that is provided by these companies for handling US tax issues. This can create delays or uncertainty in handling your taxes. Other investments which you are not able to handle with Bibio include Forex trading, which is foreign currency exchange trading. Section 1256 contracts. Futures. Cryptocurrency. And investments in real estate. If you have any questions about something your club is about to invest in, please ask us before you buy it. We'll be glad to research it for you and let you know if it will cause you any problems in your accounting or your taxes. As I've been discussing, you can find a specific list of some of the investments we know cause trouble at this link on our help page labeled Before You Invest. There are always clubs that find out the hard way that they have purchased an investment that will create problems, and they often do not have enough of it to make dealing with the tax implications worth it. Unfortunately, once you have purchased it, you're stuck with the problems for the current tax year. The problems will compound the longer you hold on to it, so make sure to sell it as soon as you find out about it to minimize problems for the current year. If you'd like to be able to use Bivio for your taxes next year, you should sell problem investments prior to the end of this calendar year. And now Lori will take over the presentation from here. Okay, thank you, Joanne. So if you've done club taxes in the past, you're gonna find that most things this year are the same as last year. However, if you own foreign company stocks, you will find there are some changes this year. Do you know if your club owns any stocks that are headquartered outside of the United States? For example, you may own foreign companies that are traded on the US exchanges as something called an ADR. Or you may own ETF and mutual funds that invest in foreign companies. If so, your full club tax filing for 2021 will contain additional forms and there will be new forms you'll distribute to your members along with their traditional K-1 forms. Your club filing will include a new form called a K-2. 
it's going to have several pages. And if you have enough foreign income, members will receive a form called a K-3 in addition to their K-1 form. This is the first of several pages they will receive. A copy of these will also be included in your total club filing. In order for Bivio to be able to fill in these forms correctly, you will need to identify the country each of your stocks is headquartered or incorporated in. If you're unsure what that is, a simple Google search for the company name and headquarters location may provide you with the information. You may also find the information on a past year 1099 form or on the one that you're going to receive in early 2022. If you still have a question, email us in support and we can help you find out the information. In Bivio, you'll need to identify the country the company is headquartered in, in with a country code. One of the ways you can do this is found on the 1099 INT DIV re review report that you can find on the accounting reports page. If you open that form, you'll find a column which indicates country. Here is an example where US is listed for the company BP. If you do research, you will find that BP is headquartered in the United Kingdom. To adjust what is shown, you just click on that two-letter country designation and this form will open. At the top is where you select the country the company is headquartered in. In this case, we select United Kingdom. After you accept the selection, you get taken back to the form and you'll see the symbol for United Kingdom has been filled in, which is GB. If you own any mutual funds or ETFs that hold foreign companies, you will need to select various from the list of country choices. You just continue this process until you've correctly identified the country for each stock your club owns. It's best to do this now to avoid any delays at tax time. This information will be used to prepare the K-2 and K-3 forms when you do your club taxes. The final things we wanted to talk about tonight are a few things that should be addressed prior to the end of this calendar year if they apply to your club. One of them that some clubs consider is called tax loss harvesting. Tax loss harvesting is when you sell stocks in which you're showing a loss in order to set cap offset capital gains you've had on other stocks that you've sold. You only pay taxes on your net gains. Net gains are the difference between any gains that you had and any losses. In addition, on your personal taxes, up to $3,000 in losses can be used to offset income you've earned in other ways, such as your regular salary income from your regular job. So what does that mean for you? Well, if you have stocks that are showing a loss and you have sold stocks and are showing a net gain on your sales, you might want to sell some of your losers so you can lower the amount of gain that you will be taxed on. Just one big caveat about doing this, however. Make sure that you have not purchased any shares of the same stock less than 30 days before the sale. And if you want to purchase it back, do not do so within 30 days after the sale. If you don't leave these 30-day buffers between your purchases and your loss sales, you will trigger the wash sale rule and your loss will be disallowed. That means that you won't be able to use it to offset your gains. This is another reason not to do automatic dividend reinvesting. It is not unusual to receive dividends after sales. If they are automatically reinvested, that's a purchase. If any of the shares you sold produce a loss, you'll end up with a wash sale you'll have to account for. And that isn't easy when you're, do when you're doing drip investing. Another issue you may need to address with your entire club prior to the end of the calendar year is related to something called CPAR. CPAR stands for Centralized Partnership Audit Regime. 
It is the rules on the process that will be used if your club ever gets audited by the IRS. The IRS changed these rules in 2018. The new rules made it easier for them to audit partnerships such as your investment club. If you meet certain requirements, you'll be able to opt out of being covered by the new rules. Why would you want to do that? Well, because who wants to make it easier for the IRS to audit them? When you prepare your taxes, you'll be asked to designate if you want to opt out of the new rules. If you cannot opt out, you will need to designate what's called a partnership representative. In the event of an audit of your 2021 taxes, they will be the single person the IRS will work with and make agreements with in the event of an audit. If any issues are found, any taxes, interest, and penalties due are assessed to the club during the year that the audit is conducted. The requirements that you need to meet to be eligible to opt out are these. First, your club has to have less than 100 members. You can only have certain types of members. You can't have any members who are partnerships, trusts, foreign entities, disregarded entities such as IRAs, nominees or person that holds an interest on behalf of another person such as a uniform gift to minors account, or an estate of an individual other than a deceased partner. Your return also has to be filed by March 15th or if you properly file an extension, the extended due date of your return. The main one investment clubs might run into that would make them ineligible are trusts. If any of your members hold their club ownership in a trust, you won't be able to opt out. You'll be required to designate a partnership representative for the tax year, and if your club was audited, it would be conducted under the new procedures. We recommend that if your club qualifies to opt out, that you do so. If you opt out, that doesn't mean your club isn't going to get audited. It just means that if it does, the IRS is going to have more work to do to conduct the audit and collect back taxes, interest, and penalties from members of your group. If you opt out, you do not have to designate a partnership representative. In addition, if you opt out and later have to file an amended return for some reason, the process will be simpler and something you should be able to handle yourselves. If you have not opted out, you will need to work with an accountant to file an amended return. So in addition to these things, there are some other things that you can do now to minimize or prevent an impact on future year's taxes. First, sell any problem investments such as MLPs, REITs, and commodity ETFs prior to this calendar year end to avoid tax headaches next year. You will probably find that the amount of income that you receive from them this year does not justify the extra expense you'll have to incur to get your club taxes prepared correctly by an outside source. If you own them now, you'll be stuck with the headaches for this tax season. But if you sell them before the end of the year, you'll be able to avoid having the same problems next year. Consider selling any drips and or discontinuing automatic dividend reinvestments. As you saw, it gives you a lot more work to do to keep your club records correctly. You'll also have many more chances of triggering a wash sale and the accounting complications that come along with it if you sell any of your holdings. With brokerage commissions low or non-existent, simplify your club accounting and improve your portfolio management by accumulating dividends. Invest regularly by consciously making a decision for each purchase rather than doing it automatically in extremely small amounts. Pay out any pending withdrawals. Otherwise, the withdrawing members will have tax consequences on next year's taxes as well as this year's. If you're going to disband, you must make sure you can complete all of your transactions before the end of the calendar year. If you will receive income or have expenses in the new year, you will, you will be dealing with taxes for both this year and next year. You need to check the ex-dividend dates for all your stocks. If your club owns them on the date they go ex-dividend, you will be receiving the dividends. 
they will need to be reported in the tax year that you actually receive them. Check and make sure that your broker is using FIFO as your default cost basis method, not only for stocks, but also for mutual funds and ETFs. Put your audit on your schedule for January so your members can plan to be available. Just to reiterate, check your cost basis information. The sooner you check it, the less chance any issues that you find are going to delay your tax filing. You can share preliminary tax allocation information with members. This may be needed by those that have to file estimated taxes or fill in things like financial aid applications or farm returns. However, make sure to make it clear that amounts shown on the report are preliminary and subject to your final records verification. Make sure that you know what kind of state tax filing requirements you might have. Vivio provides some state tax forms and offers you a very cost-effective approach for handling club state taxes for states that we don't provide. Discuss the CPAR requirements with your club. Determine if you can make the election to opt out. If not, determine who you will be designating as your partnership representative. And finally, you will need social security numbers for each of your members to be able to prepare your taxes. Make sure you work on getting them if you don't have them already. So to summarize, we've touched on a lot of information tonight. We've given you an overview of the tax forms you need to file and how you use Bivio to prepare them. We've covered the importance of making sure your Bivio records are correct and the steps that you can take right now to ensure that. We touched on things you should do to make sure your club record keeping is kept as simple as possible to help you avoid tax headaches. We've discussed what's new this year, and we've highlighted some things that you should make sure you get done before the end of the calendar year. Don't forget, federal tax preparation software is already included in your annual Bivio subscription. As long as you have an active Bivio subscription at tax time, you do not need to worry about purchasing a separate tax printer program to do your club taxes. And finally, just a reminder that Bivio is committed to providing you information about a variety of opportunities to learn about both club operations and investing. We encourage you to join our Club Cafe discussion list. We send out regular hints and tips about running your club, preparing your taxes, and choosing your investments. If you'd like to discuss an issue that your club has with other clubs, you can post your question here to get some feedback. You need to join the list to participate, but it's easy to do by going to the link that you'll find here on our homepage. We're here to support you during tax season. The quickest way to get answers to many questions is to go to our help page. You'll find a link to it at the bottom of your screen when you are logged into your club. If you can't find an answer there, email your question to support at Bivio.com. Just a note though, cost basis issues can take us a while to help you work through. The sooner you ask them, the quicker you'll have an answer. If you sent in any questions when you registered and we haven't answered them tonight, send them to the support address and we'll help you with your club specific issues. You've done the right thing, by spending a little time with us today getting oriented to what is involved with getting your records ready and preparing your club taxes. If you take a little time now taking care of anything I mentioned that applies to you prior to the end of the calendar year, you'll be able to relax and spend your time enjoying the holiday season.